This is lecture number six. Okay, hello Alkens and hello Arins. Correct, lecture number six. Uh, this is based on your 12th chemistry. Correct, NCERT, NCERT based. So here in this series, we are giving you concepts as well as the notes. Okay, both we are providing over here. So let us start today's lecture. So we have already completed Markovnikov, anti-Markovnikov. The next will be your, uh, under this alkene only, addition of halogen. Addition of halogen because before you, you were just done that addition of uh, hydrogen halide but this is only addition of halogen like br2 cl2 right so let us write the definition by using this method okay by using this method okay by using this method in the laboratory helps to detect the unsaturation okay the unsaturation present in organic compound okay wherever the unsaturation will present what it will do it will go and attach over there and that addition type of reaction will take place and both the halide will go and it will add it to the adjacent carbon okay so we can continue further addition of br2 in ccl4 here ccl4 act as a solvent okay act as a solvent ccl4 to an alkene resulting discharge of reddish brown color of bromine so what it is what is happening over here the br2 is having reddish brown color and we are taking this br2 in ccl4 and if in that alkane or whatever organic compound if it is having unsaturation what will happen this br2 will go and react with those alkene and it will add up to that alkene and it will form alkane hello alkane in the same time this br2 whatever color is there if it is breaking and individually if it is attaching to the alkane so the color color will disappear okay because this is the brown color due to this bromine molecule but now that brown color is disappearing it means the molecule is not existing now it has already formed or it has already attached with the organic compound so here we can write these are the points here we can write alkene will react with br2 to form this is vicinal dibromide okay vicinal dibromide so this is alkene reacting with br2 it will form br and br so see the bromine are on adjacent carbon so we call it vicinal dibromide and it is colorless so from color to colorless it is forming it is reddish brown color so once this reaction is taking place the reddish brown color is getting disappear okay got it so next will be your halogen exchange halogen exchange so first reaction under halogen exchange will be your 
स्पिंकलेस्टीन रिएक्शन सो राइट डाउन वेन एल्काइल क्लोराइड और ब्रोमाइड और ब्रोमाइड रिएक्टिंग विथ सोडियम आयोडाइड ओके वेन एल्काइल क्लोराइड और ब्रोमाइड रिएक्टिंग विथ सोडियम आयोड सो देयर इज द क्लोराइड एंड ब्रोमाइड बट द हायर एलाइड वी आर टेकिंग दियर इज आयोडाइड नाउ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस एल्काइल क्लोराइड फ्रॉम दिस एल्काइल क्लोराइड दिस क्लोरिन विल बी रिप्लेस एंड दिस आयोडन विल गो एन अटैक ओवर टू दिस एल्काइल सो इट विल फॉर्म एल्काइल आयोडाइड इन द सिमिलर वे इफ यू हैव एल्काइल ब्रोमाइड द ब्रोमाइल विल गो आउट एंड द आयोडन विल गो एन अटैक ओवर टू दिस एल्काइल ग्रुप एंड इट विल बी एल्काइल आयोडाइड ओके इन ड्राई एसिटोन नाउ जस्ट टेल मी वॉट इज ड्राई एसिटोन ड्राई एसिटोन मीन्स मॉइस्चर फ्री एसिटोन ओके मॉइस्चर फ्री एसिटोन मॉइस्चर फ्री एसिटोन मीन्स वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स शुड नॉट बी देयर सो इन ड्राई एसिटोन रिजल्ट एल्काइल आयोडाइड आयो डाइट ओके एल्काइल आयोडाइड गॉट इट हियर दिस एसिटोन ड्राई एसिटोन इज एक्ट एज एन सॉल्वेंट ओके दिस इज एक्ट एज एन सॉल्वेंट इज इज नॉट टेकिंग पार्ट एनी ऑफ द लाइक रिएक्शन और एनीथिंग करेक्ट सो हियर वी आर टेकिंग दैट एल्काइल क्लोराइड और ब्रोमाइड X will be your chloride or bromide, and then reacting with sodium iodide. Now what will happen? This sodium will take up this halogen, and this iodine will go and attack over here because this is a larger anion. So what will happen? This bond will break, and this anion size is more, so this anion will go and attack over to this carbon, and this smaller halide will go out from here. Okay? So it will be Ri, so alkyl iodide plus NX, sodium salt. suppose if it is chlorine then it will be sodium chloride if it is bromine then it will be sodium bromide okay the second will be your schwartz reaction okay so here we go when heating and alkyl chloride or bromide in the presence of a metallic okay in the presence of a metallic fluoride such as silver fluoride okay as zero f2 mercurous fluoride cobalt fluoride and your antimony fluoride antimony trifluoride okay we are taking here three molecule see in this case we can't replace with fluorine correct so to replace with fluorine we have to take this metal fluoride that's why we are taking metal fluoride so now it will be easy to replace the halide okay ccl3 sorry ccl4 we will take it why to take ccl3 ccl4 and this antimony trifluoride we are taking and we are forming three molecule of cfcl3 okay these are the important reaction okay i'll tell you what is the important reaction over here this we know that the cfcl3 one chlorine is replacing with the fluorine so this we call it trichloro fluoro methane and this name is freon in the end of this chapter you should know the freon 2 2 So this is freon one one. One fluorine is there, so freon one one. And what is this freon? Freon are your chlorofluorocarbon, which is used for your as an refrigerant in your refrigerator. Okay. So this refrigerant, this freon one two or freon one one, what will happen? This will uh, disturb your atmospheric ecosystem. It is actually. cause the ozone depletion correct chlorofluorocarbon we know right it will go and react with the ozone which is present in your ozone layer and it will disturb and 
the radical it will form over there and whatever the ultraviolet light is there it won't be uh, go back reflect back it will come inside the earth so that's why now i think it's banned as a refrigerant this chlorofluorocarbon is banned in a refrigerant this is not the original which we are using for refrigerant let's see the next reaction and that will be for your refrigerant purpose so again we will take in 3 ccl4 carbon tetrachloride 3 molecule of carbon tetrachloride and 2 molecule of antimony trifluoride now what we are getting over here we are getting ccl2 f2 okay and we are getting 2 antimony chloride so this name is dichloro difluoro methane and this is your freon 1 2 and this freon 1 2 is only chlorofluoromethane okay we call it chloro fluoro methane and it is only harmful for your ozone layer but use as refrigeration so chlorofluoromethane this is only chlorofluoromethane that is freon 1 2 the brand name is freon 1 2 got it next reaction okay next reaction is hans dieker reaction so these are all name reaction okay it is based on the, the scientist who discovered this okay so hans dieker swartz finkelstein all are name reaction so here we go alkyl bromide okay alkyl bromide can be prepared can be prepared by the decarboxylation of silver salt of carboxylic acid with bromine okay with bromine bromine means bromine molecule in ccl4 in ccl4 means ccl4 act as an solvent okay it is act as an solvent so now what is happening this is your alkyl group carboxylic acid then if i am taking minus then it will be carboxylate and silver salt of carboxylic acid so it will be silver carboxylate okay then we are taking br2 in ccl4 so ccl4 will act as a solvent so what you are getting r then this bromine is attaching over here this is carbon dioxide is sorry carbon dioxide is as a gas it is escape out and you will have agbr this arrow means it is precipitated okay it will settle down in a vessel so it is a precipitated what is the driving force to complete this reaction because of this carbon dioxide okay because it is a gas so whenever you you just see the reactions if one of the product is gas then that reaction will move very fast to the forward direction because gaseous product because see here it will be either solid or liquid but when it is transferring to gas randomness will increase and it will escape out okay so if it is escaping out it means according to leach atelier principle if something you are taking out from here product side the reaction will be moving forward direction right so that thing is happening over here because this is a gaseous molecule and what will happen it will escape out from the vessels if it is escaping out from the vessels this reaction will move forward direction according to leach atelier principle correct so this is the case so what is the mechanism over here we should know because hans dieker reaction mechanism maybe they may ask you not in 12 standard but your neat examination or je main they, they are going to ask you so we'll see the mechanism what does mechanism says you see see just we will write it down it start with ionic mechanism okay start with ionic mechanism followed by free radical followed by free radical chain mechanism okay it start with ionic mechanism first it will start with ionic mechanism and then followed by free radical chain mechanism got it so we'll step by step we'll see how the mechanism is following say the r okay we'll change this r so it will be easy for us 
CH3. Then here the carboxylate ion will be there, and here silver charge G plus will be there. Then Br and Br. This is the molecule, and see the first step. There is no radical. There is no radical initiator. We have this negative charge. This negative charge will go and it will attract this bromine. By the same time, this bromine will go as a Br minus. And if it is Br minus and here silver minus silver plus, it will be precipitated out. A G B R. Okay. This is the precipitate symbol. It will be precipitated out. So I'll put minus over here because it is coming out from the reaction. Now what you are getting? CS3, C O, okay, and then O B R. This we call as sile. Ipo bromide and it is very 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 unstable. What will happen? It will break radically now. So in the second step, what is happening? CS3, CO, oxygen, Br, and it will initiate the radical reaction. One electron will go to the bromine, another electron will go to the oxygen, and it will form CS3 double bond O and your oxygen radical and then Br. Radical. So it will be your acyl oxy. Acyl, this group is acyl and this oxygen is there. So oxy, acyl oxy, and radical. Because see, the radical is there. Here also one radical is there. This is bromide radical. So now in step C, what will happen? The rearrangement. Okay, radically, radically rearrangement will take place. Here CS3, carbon, double bond oxygen, here one radical. So what is happening? See, this bond is one radical is there so it will be unstable so to stabilize it what will happen this electron will move over here to form a bond by the same time in between these two carbon this one of the electron will move towards here and it will try to form a bond with this carbon double bond oxygen and one more electron it will go with the carbon what will happen here you are getting ch3 radical and plus C carbon dioxide. This is nothing but carbon dioxide. C double bond O, C double bond O. And this is the driving force, carbon dioxide. It's a gaseous state, right? So it will go out. So it will forward direction, the reaction will take place, and we will get many of this methyl radical. Now, in the step D, this methyl radical we have, correct? And we have, uh, you can choose either way. This C, this bromide radical is also available over here. You can directly take this bromide radical over here. That also you can do it. So what will happen? This radical will go and with this bromide, the reaction will stop, correct? If you want to continue, then first you take this reaction. See, in the reaction vessels, there are many molecules. We are not taking one molecule and we are reacting. We will take either one mole or a half mole, correct? We will take like that. So one radical will come over here, another radical with the bromine, and this radical will go and attach to the carbon, and it will form CS3. Br and along with that you will get this radical and now see it will continue This one will continue again. What will form in the next step? This will move over here here one electron will be moving moving over here carbon dioxide will take out Then CS3 radical again this CS3 radical will go with this and it will form and it will be Continue till all the molecule is not getting over correct now to stop this reaction you can alternatively Okay, we can say that alternatively we can utilize this also CS3 radical and plus this bromide we can take. So what will happen here? These two will form a bond to so CS3 Br. So we can say that it is stopping now. Okay, so this is alternatively correct. So then again there is no radical. Again you have to start with this molecule. Correct. So this is the mechanism for Hans Ricker reaction. Got it. So with this we have completed your halo alkanes preparation of halo alkanes so next will be your preparation of halo arenes okay we'll see what is the preparation of halo arenes preparation of halo arenes okay this is your next one preparation of halo arenes so in this first we will take from Hydrocarbon by electrophilic substitution. This is most interesting topic in your aryl 
halide or we can say that aromatic compound electrophilic substitution okay so here we are utilizing this from hydrocarbon by electrophilic substitution we are taking so first we will write up so treating the aromatic okay treating the aromatic compound with halogen okay chlorine and bromine only we are not taking fluorine and iodine for this purpose at because those are very much reactive at low temperature and in the absence of sunlight if you are taking sunlight then what will happen it will start radically and it will harm your reaction okay so we are not taking sunlight so absence of sunlight we use reagent so reagent we are using so first will be your benzene ring we are just starting chlorinations okay cl2 but in presence of anhydride alcl3 what is this alcl3 it is a lewis acid okay lewis acid with this lewis acid we are doing this halogenation so what will happen this will generate first electrophile and that electrophile will attack by this aromatic ring and finally you are getting the product chlorobenzene okay you will get the chlorobenzene so one mechanism i will tell you remaining you have to try with yourself okay so how this thing is happening so see mechanism if you are seeing mechanism because mechanism is very much interesting and if you are practicing this and as to as i told you in my last class that you have to go through with the basic concept of organic chemistry that is the playlist name conceptual chemistry okay conceptual chemistry the playlist name there you will find the basic concept those basic concept you have to go through before going for these classes okay that's that, that those classes is need very much otherwise you won't understand this mechanism and all and if you are not trying mechanism for reaction then you have to mug it up and that i don't want that you are going to mug it up how many reactions you can memorize it or you can mug it up okay so simply you try with the mechanism it will be very much easy so first step what is happening we have this cl and cl and along with this lewis acid and what is the lewis acid lewis acid means it can accept a pair of electron lone pair right so now what will happen this chlorine as it is with bond it will go to the aluminium's outermost valence shell so now it will produce cl plus if this bond is moving along with this chlorine so here it will be cl plus and then here it will be al cl4 al cl4 and top of the aluminium it will be negative charge correct now in step b in the second step what will happen you have to take this aromatic ring you have already and you have this electrophile now this chlorine is electrophile why it is electrophile because it is having electron deficiency and electron deficiency is there so it will go to the place where the electron reach center is there so see aromatic ring benzene benzene ring upper side also electron cloud will be there lower side also electron cloud will be there so what will happen it will attract this electrophile toward itself and it will form here one positive charge here this chlorine will come over here and one hydrogen is already there okay it's a benzene ring so one hydrogen will be there so now these are the bond and this bond only broken to accommodate this electrophile now you see the first step is electromagnetic effect always discuss your basic concept electromagnetic effect right if this electrophile is not present this benzene itself is stable see this benzene is still it's itself is stable okay nothing is taking place only resonance will takes place but when we are adding some electrophile what is happening it is getting disturbed see it is getting disturbed this conjugation is disturbed so now it means it is a temporary effect and we know that out of four effect we have only electromagnetic effect which say the temporary effect correct so now this is electromagnetic effect now you have to tell me which type of electromagnetic effect is playing role whether it's a plus e or minus e so here it is plus e right how it is plus e see the bonded pair of electron or we can say the pi electron is moving to this carbon where the electrophile is or attacking reagent is attaching see we have moved this pi electron over here so here it will be negative charge and this negative charge is attracting this electrophile so the attacking reagent is going and attaching to that carbon where the pi bond is shifting 
so that's why here it is okay chlorine now see this side if this bond is moving this carbon then here it will be positive charge so that positive charge we are getting over here now it will continue the resonance part so now to neutralize this positive charge this bond will be shifting over this in between these two carbon so you are getting new bond this will be the new bond here chlorine here hydrogen this is the older bond and here positive charge if this bond is moving over here positive charge will be here now to neutralize this positive charge this bond will move over here and then next it will be your forming new bond over here and positive charge will be over here then your chlorine and hydrogen now what is happening see one two and three so this three we call contributing structure okay or resonating structure or canonical structure anything you can call it so now in step c what will happen take this compound okay i will take this place okay so this is the compound these are the new bond here the positive charge here it is chlorine here it is hydrogen now we have see this we have used as a catalyst so it should go out like as it is alcl3 not in the form of alcl4 so we have this one alcl4 minus now this chlorine is only attached with this aluminium like just like a salt so what will happen this cl minus will take away this hydrogen and this bond will fall over here so what is happening here you are getting again the benzene ring and chlorine is attached over here and then hcl along with that your alcl3 is coming over here al cl3 so we have started with alcl3 we are getting back alcl3 so correct here you have to write hcl also so this is the byproduct hcl and you are getting your chlorobenzene this is the chlorobenzene or we can call it Haloarene, haloarene or chlorobenzene. So this is the mechanism. Okay, this is the mechanism, and it is very easy if you are having command on those three concepts I told you: electronic displacement, reactive intermediate, and your type of reaction. If you have commanding over there, these are very easy for you. So again, I am telling you: if you are not having commanding on those, you just go to that playlist, conceptual chemistry, and finish those lecture and come back again here because this lecture will be there till your examination. So don't worry about that. Correct. So second type of halogenation, how we we are going to do? So reaction number two. It is your. Can you name this compound? What is the name of this? Okay. This is your toluene, and reacting with F2, AcCl2, in presence of iron, it will also act as an Lewis acid. Then you see, here you are getting CS3. And here you will get chlorine, but not only ortho you will get, you will get along with that para position also. This is the chlorine, correct? So you will get ortho, chlorobenzene, as well as para, chlorobenzene. Both you will get ortho chlorobenzene as well as para chlorobenzene. Okay, for so the similar type of reaction will take place over here, correct? Next will be your Sandman reaction. Okay, Sandman reaction. So here you can write it. What is Sandman reaction? See, mixing the solution of freshly. Okay, we can't store this uh, solution. So freshly prepared. Freshly prepared diazonium, okay. Freshly prepared diazonium salt with cuprous, okay, with cuprous chloride. Got it? Or bromide results, okay, results chloro or bromo, okay, chloro or bromo benzene. Are you getting so mixing the solution of freshly prepared because we have to prepare always freshly prepared diazonium salt because diazonium salt uh, we, the diazonium salt means benzene diazonium salt or benzene diazonium chloride we can't store beyond zero degree centigrade so if you want to store you have to store it continuously at zero degree centigrade if it is reaching till room temperature means suppose 
more than 10 degrees centigrade then what will happen the diazonium salt will get dissociate nitrogen gas will escape out and if moisture is present then it will form a phenol correct so that much sensitive is so this is your diazonium salt benzene diazonium salt here it will be n2 plus and along with that cl minus will be there okay so this is your diazonium salt and we are using this cuprous halide okay cuprous halide can be anything your cuprous bromide or cuprous iodide whatever you are taking over here that will only form in a benzene ring if you are taking here chloro then here chloro will come if you are taking bromo here bromo will come so this is aryl halide okay and plus the driving force of this reaction is this n2 gas because this is gas so according to leach earlier if any of your product is gaseous molecule it will escape out then the concentration will decrease this side so it will move forward direction okay correct so x will be your chloro or bromo but we should see the mechanism right we need this mechanism without mechanism how we will come to know how the reaction is taking place correct so in the next slide we will take the mechanism so how the mechanism is working out over here see this is your diazonium salt okay this is your diazonium salt nitrogen triple bond nitrogen so see nit this nitrogen is having three bonds so it is neutral this nitrogen is having 3 1 4 so here the positive charge correct and along with this minus will also there halide minus now what we are doing we are taking this x with cuprous here two electron is there only single electron will transfer where it will transfer to this nitrogen because this nitrogen is only having this deficiency so it will transfer see this is fish fish hook arrow so it is transferring to this nitrogen once this electron will transfer to this nitrogen what will happen to this bond this bond will break radically how so one electron will shift over here another electron will shift over this nitrogen got it so finally what you are getting over here in this side it will be your benzene ring along with the nitrogen double bond nitrogen here one electron you will get it okay one electron but this side what you are getting as a lone pair you are getting see correct now radical is there so it will be very much reactive okay and and along with that what it, it is forming x okay cuprous and then this x and one electron it is left over one already went right so what will happen over here see now to neutralize this radical this benzene ring one radical will come over here to this ring another radical will go to form a bond over here and this radical will also come over here so see here it will be nitrogen nitrogen triple bond and this bond is breaking and one electron went that side and one another electron will be on this carbon so what you are getting you are getting your benzene radical correct and it is highly unstable okay it will react with this your whatever the single electron is there it will come and it will react with this electron correct now second what you are getting nitrogen and this is the driving force as a gas it will escape out correct now nitrogen is already vanished now this here what will happen this is the benzene ring in this benzene ring the copper got attached one halide this is copper it attached with this benzene ring and another halide is over here okay this is attached with this benzene ring i have just draw like this okay that bond should be proper this is copper it attached with this two halogen so now what is happening see this bond will shift over here correct and this will go as a negative charge or electron so finally what you are getting over here it will be your bond and this halide already came over here and then finally from wherever you have started same thing you are getting back correct understood good here one probable one more probable mechanism is there what is that just take out these two just take out these two and see what is the probable mechanism see this is the benzene radical so these are all probable mechanisms so here x x now what will happen one electron along with this halogen it will come over here another electron will go to the copper and that also you are getting this product only see this halide this this halide is coming over here 
and this copper is having two electrons right so both the places you are getting aryl halide so this is the mechanism okay and one more reaction is there mechanism i am not going to tell in this ppt only i have told you the mechanism that is hans dicker reaction there we have taken that alkyl silver salt okay here we will take the aryl silver salt benzoic acid okay so here o minus plus plus br2 now we are getting the product mechanism you try it if you are not able to do you just contact me i'll tell you how the mechanism is working but in this slide only initial side i have tried so here the driving force is carbon dioxide as a gas it will escape and agbr will be settled down in a bottle bottom and you are getting this aryl halide or bromobenzene got it now next class we will discuss the physical property physical property and then after physical property we will move directly towards chemical property good so as i told you no need to go anywhere else i will provide you the concept as well as notes and again if you having some any kind of doubt you can contact me through the comment section or through my whatsapp okay you can contact me so i will solve your problem so Thank you. Thank you for watching.